difference between mind and intellect, you would say that it's not but it's simple, but actually these things are very well defined in Vedanta, very well defined, thousands of years ago. So what is, how do you define the mind and how do you distinguish it from the intellect? The mind is, in uh, Vedanta, the, the basic definition is sankalpa vikalpa atmika manaha. That mind is which oscillates between different possibilities, which has no uh, fixity. Notice how the questioner said, when I'm doing japa, my mind wanders, it goes here and there. That is mana, mind. So we try to bring it back on one point, but it considers many things. So a classic example which is given is, a man is going in the darkness, in the semi-darkness, and a distance sees something which looks either like a dry tree stump, you can imagine with two dry branches which look like hands, or it could be a person standing there. Now, in Sanskrit, sthanu va purusho va, is it a dry tree stump or is it a person waiting there? When your mind is considering these possibilities, this or that, like, dislike, want, do not want, struggle, wandering, it is called mind. The same thing inside, it's called mind. When you come closer, the man comes closer and sees, oh, it's a stump of a tree, it's not a human being at all. Clarity comes, that flash of understanding, that is intellect, buddhi. Sanskrit definition, nishchayatmika buddhi. It's the same inner sense, the subtle body two different functions, clearly different functions. In one way it is called mind, in another state it is called intellect. It's the same thing. So when you're solving a math problem, you're struggling with it, this way, that way, can't get it, and suddenly comes a flash of understanding. Yes, I've got it. The first part was the mind, and the second one was intellect saying, yes, this is it. Nishchaya atmika buddhi. 